Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. In classical mechanics, Bertrand's theorem states that among central force potentials with bound orbits, there are only two types of central force, radial, scalar potentials with the property that all bound orbits are also closed orbits. The first such potential is an inverse square central force such as the gravitational or electrostatic potential, V, R, equals minus K R with force F R, equals minus D V D, R equals minus K R2. The second is the radial harmonic oscillator potential, V, R, equals 1, 2, K, R2 with force F, R, equals minus D, V, D, R, equals minus K, R. The theorem is named after its discoverer, Joseph Bertrand. Derivation all attractive central forces can produce circular orbits, which are naturally closed orbits. The only requirement is that the central force exactly equals the centripetal force which determines the required angular velocity for a given circular radius. Non-central forces, i.e., those that depend on the angular variables as well as the radius, are ignored here since they do not produce circular orbits in general. The equation of motion for the radius are of a particle of mass m moving in a central potential. V, r, is given by motion equations md2, r dt2 minus m, r omega2 equals md2, r dt2 minus L2m, R3 equals minus dvdr, where omega is identical to d theta dt, and the angular momentum L equals m, R2 omega is conserved. For illustration, the first term on the left is zero for circular orbits, and the applied inwards force dvd, R equals the centripetal force requirement m, R2 omega, as expected. The definition of angular momentum allows a change of independent variable from t to theta ddt equals lm r2 dd theta, giving the new equation of motion that is independent of time. l r2 dd theta, lm r2 d r d theta, minus l2 m r3 equals minus dvd. Eh. This equation becomes quasi-linear on making the change of variables u is identical to 1, r, and multiplying both sides by m, r2 l2. See also Binet equation d2 u d theta 2 plus u equals minus m l2 d d u v 1 u. As noted above, all central forces can produce circular orbits given an appropriate initial velocity. However, if some radial velocity is introduced, these orbits need not be stable, i.e., remain in orbit indefinitely, nor closed, repeatedly returning to exactly the same path. Here we show that a necessary condition for stable, Exactly closed non-circular orbits is an inverse square force or radial harmonic oscillator potential. In the following sections, we show that those two force laws produce stable, exactly, closed orbits, a sufficient condition. It is unclear to the reader exactly what is the sufficient condition. Define Ju as d2 u d theta 2 plus u equals j u is identical to minus m l 2 d d u v 1 u equals minus m l to u 2 f 1 u, where f represents the radial force. The criterion for perfectly circular motion at a radius r zero is that the first term on the left be zero, where u zero is identical to one slash r zero. The next step is to consider the equation for u under small perturbations eta is identical to u minus u zero from perfectly circular orbits. On the right, the j function can be expanded in a standard Taylor series. J u, is almost equal to j u0 plus eta j u0 plus 1 2 eta 2 j u0 plus 1 6 eta 3 j u0 plus midline horizontal ellipsis substituting this expansion into the equation for u and subtracting the constant terms yields d2 eta d theta 2 plus eta equals eta j u0 plus 1 2 eta 2 j u0 plus 1 6 eta 3 j u0 plus midline horizontal ellipsis which can be written as where beta 2 is identical to 1 minus j, u0, is a constant. Beta 2 must be non-negative. Otherwise, the radius of the orbit would vary exponentially away from its initial radius. The solution beta equals 0 corresponds to a perfectly circular orbit. If the right side may be neglected, i.e., for small perturbations, the solutions are eta theta equals h1 cos beta theta where the amplitude h1 is a constant of integration. For the orbits to be closed, beta must be a rational number. What's more, 
it must be the same rational number for all radii, since beta cannot change continuously. The rational numbers are totally disconnected from one another. Using the definition of j along with equation 1, j u0 equals 2 u0 ml 2 u0 2 f 1 u0 minus ml 2 u0 2 f 1 u0 1 f 1 u0 dd u0 f 1 u0 equals minus 2 plus u0 f 1 u0 dd u0 f 1 u0 equals 1 minus beta 2. Since this must hold for any value of u0, dfd r equals beta 2 minus 3 fr, which implies that the force must follow a power law f r equals minus k r3 minus beta 2. Hence, j must have the general form for more general deviations from circularity, i.e., when we cannot neglect the higher order terms in the Taylor expansion of j. Eta may be expanded in a Fourier series, e.g., eta, theta equals h0 plus h1 cos beta theta plus h2 cos 2 beta theta plus h3 cos 3 beta theta plus midline horizontal ellipsis, we substitute this into equation 2 and equate the coefficients belonging to the same frequency, keeping only the lowest order terms. As we show below, h0 and h2 are smaller than h1, being of order h12. h3 and all further coefficients are at least of order h13. This makes sense since h0, h2, h3 must all vanish faster than h1 as a circular orbit is approached. H0 равно H1, H2 равно H1, H2 равно H1, H2 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 From the cos beta theta term, we get 0 equals 2H1 H0 plus H1 H2J, U0. 2 plus H1 3J, U0. 8 equals H1 3 24 beta 2, 3 beta 2J, U0, plus 5J, U0, 2. Where in the last step we substituted in the values of H0 and H2. Using equations 3 and 1, we can calculate the second and third derivatives of J evaluated at U0, J u0 equals minus beta 2, 1 minus beta 2, u0, j, u0 equals beta 2, 1 minus beta 2, 1 plus beta 2, u0, 2. Substituting these values into the last equation yields the main result of Bertrand's theorem. Beta 2, 1 minus beta 2, for minus beta 2, equals 0. Hence, the only potentials that can produce stable closed non-circular orbits are the inverse square force law, beta equals 1, and the radial harmonic oscillator potential, beta equals 2. The solution beta equals 0 corresponds to perfectly circular orbits, as noted above. Classical field potentials for an inverse square force law, such as the gravitational or electrostatic potential. The potential could be written v, r equals minus k, r equals minus ku. The orbit u theta can be derived from the general equation d2 u d theta 2 plus u equals minus m l 2 dd u v 1 u equals k m l 2 whose solution is the constant k m l 2 plus a simple sinusoid u is identical to 1 r equals k m l 2 1 plus e cos theta minus theta 0 where e the eccentricity and theta 0 the phase offset are constants of integration this is the general formula for a conic section that has one focus at the origin. E equals zero corresponds to a circle. Zero e one corresponds to an ellipse. E equals one corresponds to a parabola. And E one corresponds to a hyperbola. The eccentricity E is related to the total energy E, C Laplace, Runge. Lens vector E equals one plus two EL, two K2M. Comparing these formulae shows that E zero corresponds to an ellipse. E equals zero corresponds to a parabola, and E zero corresponds to a hyperbola. In particular, E equals minus k 2m 2l2 for perfectly circular orbits. Harmonic oscillator to solve for the orbit under a radial harmonic oscillator potential. It's easier to work in components are equals x, y, z. The potential can be written as v. R equals 1, 2k, r2 equals 1, 2k x2 plus y2 plus e2. 
The equation of motion for a particle of mass m is given by three independent Euler equations, d2x dt2 plus omega 0, 2x equals 0, d2y dt2 plus omega 0, 2y equals 0, d2z dt2 plus omega 0, 2z equals 0, with a constant omega 0, 2 is identical to km must be positive, i.e., k greater than 0, to ensure bounded, closed orbits. Otherwise, the particle will fly off to infinity. The solutions of these. Simple harmonic oscillator equations are all similar. x equals ax cos, omega 0 t plus phi x. y equals a y cos, omega 0 t plus phi y. z equals a z cos, omega 0 t plus phi z. With the positive constants x, i and a z represent the amplitudes of the oscillations, and the angles phi x, phi y, and phi z represent their phases. The resulting orbit are t equals xt y, y, z, t, is closed because it repeats exactly after one period t is identical to 2 pi omega zero. The system is also stable because small perturbations in the amplitudes and phases cause correspondingly small changes in the overall orbit.